31 days to not being a girlfriend if you want to be a wife. We are on day number 18. We are over, over the halfway mark. I am so excited. I hope you ladies are really enjoying these lessons and you're going and you're really rooting out the lies you were taught, the lies you believe, and you're, you're planting new seeds of truth. And today, day number 18 says, I know that God loves me. Day number 18, I know that God loves me. This is a totally different section than what we've been talking about before. Before the last two weeks, I wanted to root out those lies. Root them out. Root them out. That you don't need a husband. You don't need a man. You don't need to get married. You can do it all by yourself. No, 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 no. And the next week, we're going to talk about who you are in Christ. This is this book. If you have not picked up this book, you need to pick this book up on Amazon. I think, I don't know, it's twelve ninety nine. so I don't know, child. Amazon be changing your prices all the time. But you need this book. If you do not have it, be sure to pick it up. Welcome back to Church Girls and Faith Girls. Want to get married too? My name is just my windows open. Get a little fresh air in here. Uh -huh. uh, my name is Janice. Thank you for the love and the support with my books. Um, two of the tasks of guys you might meet. You need this book, girl. And um, the Naked Wife, and of course, the In Christ I Am. And of course, remember my mentorship program. If you have not registered, you need to register. This special is only for the month of January. Included is this ebook. Mm -hmm. Okay, has 31 days not being a girlfriend. All the everything I'm teaching is in here. You just have to take it and take notes, and then. At the back, there's a little something special for you, but you will only know what it is if you buy the book or join my mentorship program for it. Next month, it's going to be different. Okay, let's review a little bit. Day number 13, I need a husband. Who told you you need a husband, Chris? A lie. Read the Bible. Day number 14, I will only date men who wants to be married. Why are you with this man who told you you don't want to be married, ain't ready to get married, marriage is a piece of paper? It's a lie. Day number 15, I need to be loved, professed to by my husband. Day number 16, I need to be provided for by my husband. Day number 17, I need to be protected by my husband. Day number 18, I know that God loves uh, me. When you get this, if you get this, all the Bible verses that I'm using is included. And so for this one, the Bible verse is John 3:16 and 17 my favorite verse in all the bible john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life go ahead girl get your pen and paper and write that down john 3 16 mm -hmm. write it down john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Verse 17, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Shout, 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 Huh. For God sent not his son. He didn't send his son, Jesus Christ, in the world to condemn the world. But he sent his son. Oh, God. That the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, ladies, a lot of you ladies have been through some things. You've made some choices. Some things has happened in your life. Things is not working out for you like you would have liked for it to work out. God has not manifested your prayers. Girl, they told you to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added on to you and you've been in church your whole life girl and you're 50 still ain't got no husband and you might be feeling and thinking that god don't love you i've i've been there i was i was i was um i have another book coming out talking about or is it in the journal section wilderness experiences and 
before in the mornings i would go to the park and walk before i go to work because the bus would pick my daughter up at a certain time i would be dressed and i would go to the park and i would walk around and i remember i met this lady and she was just saying how god doesn't love her god doesn't love her because god has not manifested her husband and sometimes you might feel that way but let me tell you girl god's love for you is not dependent on you he's not dependent on uh yes when things god manifests things in our lives we can say oh god loves me but what happened when he it hasn't manifested is that proof that he does not love you no it doesn't because god's love for you is dependent on jesus christ that's it his love for you, your righteousness, your salvation, you're just, you're holy, you are a peculiar person, you're a child of God, you're a daughter of God, you're the righteousness of Christ, you're bought with a price, you walk worthy, not because of you, because of anything you have done, but because of what Christ did for us. And it is so important for you to understand that, that God's love for you is dependent on him not on you hallelujah and how many of you know ladies know that sometimes when god has not manifested some things in our lives it's because we're not in the right place hallelujah some of us have lived raggedy lives girl don't be condemned you've lived raggedy lives and mad at god because god has the manifested it but you got to remember honey you spend 40 years 20 years living your way huh and you left god when you was 19 and now you're 40 and you at the 40 mark looking for god baby you gotta go back to where you left it hallelujah but it does not mean that god does not love you god's love for you is dependent on christ and christ alone not because you've been good not because you've been teaching in the church your whole life not because you've fasted 40 days and 40 nights not because you've never fornicated not because you're still a virgin not because you've read the bible from cover to cover in a month not because uh you've never shacked up that is not why god loves you god loves you because of jesus the end and sometimes it, it, our i think people misunderstand the difference between relationship and fellowship Hana Messiah relationship with god and fellowship does not is different my relationship with god is how i relate to him i'm his daughter that will never change as long as you have according to romans 10 and 9 confess with your mouth the lord jesus christ belief in your heart that god has raised him from the dead you shall be saved because with the mouth you confess to righteousness, to salvation, and with the heart you believe. In John, when Jesus, uh, the Nicodemus went to Jesus by night because he was afraid. He was a teacher and he was afraid. And Nicodemus said, how can I be saved? And Jesus, wait a minute, you're a teacher of the law and you don't know? You must be born again of the spirit and of the water and of the blood. And he said, he said, well, how can I be born again? I'm an old man. Can I re-enter in my mother's womb and be born again? He said, no, no, no. You got to be born by the spirit and the water and the blood. And that is what determines your relationship with God. Shout for me, somebody. Stand up and shout because I can. The camera's right here your fellowship your fellowship is what we confuse as relationship and that's not my relationship with god fellowship is i get up in the morning it's and i walk through my house hallelujah thank you jesus and i kneeled and i pray and i read my bible and i make my confessions and i talk to god throughout the day that is my fellowship 
And a lot of us, when we are not fellowshipping with God, we think it's our relationship that's affected, but it's not the relationship because I'm still his daughter. It's my fellowship with him. And if you feel as if God don't love you, sister, I want you to sit down with notebook and paper. This is why I'm trying to get this journal out to you and write down your fellowship. When was the last time you felt the presence of God? Where do you feel as if God, you feel like God leave you? I'll never leave you and I will never forsake you. If anybody left, it was you. And I'm telling you, like the prodigal son, I got to get up. Like the prodigal son, the father is still at the same place where you left him waiting for you. What the Bible said about the prodigal son, the father would go out every day. Ah, looking for his son. And one day, one day, one day, one day, he was looking and he saw his son coming. And guess what? He, he ran. And in the days, those, those kings and priests and all the people, be a man of stature, shouldn't run, but he saw his son coming and he ran and he hugged him and he kissed him. And the Bible said he put on a robe on him and he gave him his ring. What does that mean? Citizenship. Your rightful place is with God the Father. And so if you feel like God don't love you, sister, I want to ask you something. Where did you leave him? Huh? Where did you leave him? You got to know that you know that you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt that God loves you and that his love for you is not dependent on you and what you do. It is dependent on Jesus Christ that died on the cross for you. The end. That's it. Not because of you or who you are. His love for you is dependent on Jesus Christ. Shout, 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 shout. I got to go, girl. This video's getting long. My books are in my Amazon. The naked wife. In Christ I am. If you have not picked up this book, In Christ I Am, girl, I'm trying to tell you, you need this book. You need to know your identity in Christ. And of course, uh, 23 Tesla guys, you might meet. And of course, my mentorship group, girl, if you need more of this, uh, God loves you, girl. You need to sign up for the mentorship group. I'm going to put up some new lessons up there. You need to know that God loves you. I got to go, girl. I got to go. I love you. I love you. Now, my love for you. Mm. I love you, girl. <laughs> I love you. Bye.